with two neighboring nations starting to spread their influence throughout the world, a showdown of sorts is going to be inevitable. Uh, and we certainly see that uh, when it comes to the, the the creation of the Portuguese Empire and the, and the eventual creation of the Spanish Empire. Uh, and the only person that really can settle the dispute is going to be the Pope in Rome. Uh, for example, in 1481, Pope Sixtus IV, uh, issues a papal bull, a proclamation, really, uh, dis giving all lands south of the, of the Canary Islands to Portugal. Well, when Spain discovers the New World and there are and they start exploring areas south uh, south of uh, where the Canary Islands are, that's going to run into a lot of problems because the Pope has given that land to, to port the Portuguese. So what are you going to do? Uh, well, of course, you go to the Pope again. And so in 1493, a new Pope is going to issue another bull, uh, another proclamation. His name was Alexander VI, and he basically says that, let me get it straight, uh, that basically gives all the lands west of the Cape Verde Islands to Spain. Well, the, to give you an idea where the Cape Verde Islands is, uh, you have, you know, as you can see on this map, it's just, you know, it's it's south, it's south of the Canary Islands, right off the coast of Africa. All of this is going to go to Sp uh, anything west of it's going to go to Spain. Well, that's going to shut off the Fr the the Spanish, uh, sorry, the Portuguese. Um, can, uh, possibility of exploring, not to mention the fact that the, the Portuguese are already in the New World by this time because they're they're showing up in what we call Brazil. There's a reason why Brazil speaks Portuguese rather than Spanish. Not to mention the fact that Portugal is going to cry foul about this. And the reason why is that Alexander VI, uh, you know, issues a proclamation favoring Spain. Now, why would he do that? Maybe, just maybe, it is the fact that he is ethnically Spanish. Uh, he's one of the last non-Italian popes uh, uh, that we'll see until uh, to the rise of uh, John Paul II in the 1970s. Uh, but nonetheless, a Spanish pope has now given, uh, made a proclamation to give Spain and everything to the west of the Cape Verde Islands. Well, that's really not going. That's going to stick it across, as they say, of the Span of the, of the Portuguese. So, what are you going to do? Well, the Portuguese and the Spanish, they are going to negotiate, and they negotiate by saying that they're going to create. Uh, they're going to uh, sign what's known as the Treaty of Tordesillas, and it. it, it Back when you were in high school, they might have called it the line of demarcation. And basically what it does is it creates a line across the entire world, uh, basically kind of cutting uh, the Brazil, uh, not in half, but in two. And they said that any lands west, west of that land, uh, that line is going to go to the, uh, to the Spanish. So we're talking about areas basically of the New World. For the purposes of this course, we're really, really just focusing on the New World.